Welcome to part two of our warrior deck. It's all about aggression and then healing ourselves back up with the anti heal bot. Here it goes. It's going fairly well. I just have to get decent opening hands. Unfortunately, if I get fucked on the opening hand, you know, I need to be going second so that I can coin a three into a three. And then if that doesn't happen, I lose. <laughs> That's pretty much the standard order of operations Eros for things. Versus Jaina. You asked for it. Victory or death. Two. Three, four. I can count. All right. Unfortunately, the micro machine is horrible if my opponent plays. Oh, two, three, four, five. Unfortunately, the micro machine is horrible if my opponent plays a two, three. So I might actually armor up rather than play it. Since I'm going second, that is. If I top deck a fiery war axe, it's amazing. Because... Lame. Lame. Fucking hear me when I called you lame. Let me guess, Flame Cannon Frostbolt, this becomes more powerful, attacks my face. No. Interesting. I'm probably going to use Death Bite to kill both of those mirror images, and then the AoE kills the Mana Worm. Trust me, this isn't the situation I wanted to be in either. It's a pretty shitty situation for me. Best I can make of it is if my opponent develops not that. Best I could make of it was if my opponent develops a 4-5 uh, and then I clear the board with my final swing of the axe and then send the Corcoran Elite into the 4-5. Echo of Medivh it back to your hand so you can remove another one of my we uh, weapons later. Oh. No? Oh, come on. The 3-1 goes into the 4-3 like 100% of the time. Unless you have a flame cannon that you're super intent on using. The problem here is that the four, the three four can kill the two two for free, and I can't really respond against that. Like my four four still goes into the three two, and then gets pinged down. So that three four, that three mana three four, effectively traded for my five mana minion. For the king! To battle! I mean, like, everything I end up doing, I'm one damage off. If I had that hero ability, I'd be fucking psyched. But I don't. Come on, big game hunter target. Here we go. Swamp it down. Big game hunt it. Win the game. There's just not that many big game hunter targets in a standard deck. Right. What's it gonna be? Nothing most often. Oh, 
Luckily, I have antique heal bot in hand, so I don't have to worry about my health as much as I usually would. Ogre Brute Frost with Warlord, 6-6. Six, six. That seems solid enough next time. What to Dragon's do? Breath or Flame Cannon is what you've got to have in hand if you're going to ping the 6-5. Yeah. Is it Dragon's Breath or Flame Oh, you're setting up for a flame strike. I mean, Stormwind Champion puts it out of flame strike range, but then the Stormwind Champion gets flame struck at the same time, and then you ping this to remove it, and I end up with a 6 2 Stormwind Champion. Here. Flame Strike leaves me with a 7-3 that I can still then buff with the Stormwind Champion. This also has the advantage of playing on curves, so next turn I can play Stormwind Champion plus Hero Power, whereas if I played Stormwind Champion last turn, I would have only floated one mana, so then this turn, yeah, it's, it's all messy. Flame strike's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. I've just gotta accept that. So I decided to play basically a five mana spell to heal my health for eight. I wonder. Stop trying to get more value out of flame strike. Fucking flame strike this board. You have the flame strike. I trust you. You've played enough. You've played enough, uh, kind of, like, hints and signs that you have it. I accept that it's very likely that you have the Flame Strike. Play the Flame Strike. And then we can just have fun with this video game afterwards. There we are. Double flame strike, second flame strike, who knows? It could be anything with this wascally wild kid. Why are you going for the face? Seems relatively weird. Flame Strike can kill the 5 5, but the 6 2 stays alive. Is it? Is it Flame Strike? Is that another Flame Strike? Is that a, that a, that a strike of flaming? Hmm? Grievous. With all U and S capitalized. I have a feeling this player might be Russian. Yeah, it's a flame strike. You wanna blow something up? Might as well squeeze as much damage out of them as possible. This also means I can't play the big game Hunter unless my opponent has a 7 plus minion on board. Otherwise, it will force me to kill the Frost of Warlord. Note, destroy a minion. It doesn't say you may, it doesn't say you can, it doesn't say decide if you want to. It says destroy a minion. So my Frost of Warlord would die. 
Yep. And that ends the video game. That was much longer than it needed to be, Grievous. Four and one. I didn't make an estimation for this deck and I refuse to, so, huh. Take that, society and general expectations of my arena. I'm just glad that it's been a while since I fucking 0 3 or 1 3 or 2 3 or 3 3 or 4 3 It's mostly been 5 plus for a while, which I'm glad about because... Garrosh, Dear Lord, <clears throat> I don't like throwing. Illuminate is not a strong enough 3 to keep in my opening hand. Ogre Brute is. Good friend. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Well, that's unfortunately not the, uh, the axe thing that I was looking for there, but that does mean that I can coin a 3 into a 3 into a 4 into a 5, so that's decent-ish. Into a 6 as well, we've got a perfect curve as long as we don't have to screw with it at any point, so... Just ping the face. I am oh, that's ready. Awesome. Now, I play the Ogre Brute in this position rather than the Scarlet Crusader because it means my opponent can't use ping and then attack, attack. Sorry, ping and then attack with one of them, right? It means that if they want to kill this, they have to use both. Unless, of course, they have Frostbolt or Flame Cannon in hand. We have many secrets. Wow. You're aggressive, ain't you? Hopefully I don't hit this one. So, I've only got a 16.6% chance of hitting it. Me smash you. Okay, fine. So it was a 50% chance to hit this, and then a 30%, a 33% chance for each of these, right? So it's basically a third of 50, so 16.667. Rounded is where the 7 comes from, otherwise it would be 16.6 .6 repeater. If my opponent just wants to let me continue making minions on the board, then I'll just have a big Frostwolf Overlord. Frostwolf Warlord! Of course, I say Overlord because I've forgotten the names of the cards. I, I, I'm I scummed casual trash. I barely even play this game. I have no clue what it is. Is this Magic the Gathering? Is this that Magic the Gathering I've been hearing so much about? Your magic shall not see. Oh, that's unfortunate for me. So I've got to remember, one of the cards in my opponent's hand is trash, right? It's a reversing switch, or it's a the armor plating, or something like that, right? It's not going to be super important. I have to play the 4-4, because if I play the 2-4 uh, No Mission Inventor, then the Spellbreaker gets to kill it for free. And I can't respond to that. I have no 1 damage AoE. I would have to top deck uh, in a rage in order to even have a chance at that point. My freaking... Keyboard is on the fritz, and in order to fix it, I have to unplug and replug my keyboard back in. Unfortunately, unplugging and replugging my keyboard back in would stop my uh, webcam, which means that I have to restart all of the recording. Not something I can do right now, unfortunately. Pay attention, class. Just have to generate another minion. I need to break that, uh, break that Annoyatron shell without using the Fiery War Axe. Oh dear. This is going to distract me the entire time. It's been happening for a while and it's already been distracting me, so... It's been unknown to you distracting me for quite some time now. God damn. I have to play that because what if I just get fucking fireball to the- sorry. What if I get, uh, fireball to the face again? 
God damn, where's my brawl? I know what I do next turn if this all attacks my face. Attack, battle rage, hope to draw brawl, play brawl if I get it. Would not be surprised for this to be our second loss. We just had a really shitty opener. And then by the time we had the tools to fix it, we'd already been far behind. I mean, a one drop into a two drop. Even if a two drop was a one drop, it's still another minion on the field. Another two one. And since I don't have a hero ability that can actually deal with two ones, right? I'm not lucky enough to be a mage, a rogue, or... What now? I mean, fucking Gnomish and and Seek and the Illuminator both die. They both die to either the Pilot of Shredder or the Spellbreaker for free. So there's no reason to play them. Right? They don't affect the board state unless I top deck in a rage. It's the only way in which they at all have a possibility of affecting the board state. This is a problem. This is something that would be commonly classed as a problem. Yeah. What to do? Right. That makes sense. That was the brawl that I needed. So to make it more likely that one of my minions survives, I attack that first. Oh my god, I can't do it. I need to fire a war axe to kill that. I can't do it. So that there's no death rattle minion, but... I need mine to survive, and then the death rattle minion to be really easy to kill. Oh hey, mine didn't survive, but... I can survive to the next turn. All I need to do is armor up. My opponent's one damage off being able to kill me. If they don't have that one damage, and if I top deck the antique heal bot, I might have a chance here. Yes. Top deck antique heal bot, here we go. Well played. Well played. Excellent. Exactly what I needed. So now I do that. This pings this. Lovely. And then I hit that, and then I end my turn because I lost the game. Okie dokie. 46. Man, I played a low. Oh, that would be all the control warrior that I played on ladder. Are you ready for the last match? I totally am. I mean, I'm hoping to go 5-something, but I'm also... You know, I, I'm a realist. I'm not a cynic, I'm not a pessimist, I'm a realist. And a realist knows that I'm... Got a snowball's chance in hell. Oh well. It was fun while it lasted yeah. in those few games that it worked. River Run Deep. I will fight with honor. Victory or death! That's a good enough card that I actually keep it in the opening. Unfortunately, again, going second with the micro mission. You know what? This arena would have been so much better if, instead of drawing the micro machine, I took the fairy dragon. Because then I would have been able to play the micro machine when I had the coin, right? I would have been able to play it on turn two and it would have dealt with the two, three. It would have dealt with, you know, X3. It would have dealt with those things. This had a higher chance for being fun and being wild and being cool and stuff like that. But it actually had a lower success rate. And you know what? I knew it at the time as well. I knew it at the time of draft. Oh, 
<clears throat> I coined that because I have the fiery war axe to protect it. Are you kidding me? So surprised. All right. Let me think. I might just have to kill something and then battle rage this turn in order to cycle it. Reporting for duty. I kill that not only to test for the <clears throat> Noble Sacrifice secret or the Redemption secret, but it also means that my opponent can't develop a 4 mana minion, which I then can't kill. Then I have to kill the 1-1 one, one, and the 4 mana minion gets the, uh, the, you know, the fucking Avenge buff. Okay, that surprises me. I didn't think it was going to be that one. Hey, it's, if it's going to be any minion that gets hit by that, that's probably the minion to be hit by it. It was already going to die to a truce of a champion, uh, and it's valuable in death as Let well, so. Think. I even don't mind if it gets, uh, if it kind of does get removed with stuff from the hand rather than the 4-5. Yeah, because now I have an Arcanite Reaper to respond. To the 4-5, that is. Why would you remove that? It's the best card. Bullwalker Cho. It's so good. Now you can't cast spells. I have fucking no spells in my deck, right? So Bullwalker Cho being alive is amazing for me. Oh, boo, hoo. I cannot use Inner Rage. Oh, I am so sad. You can't use Consecrate, Truce of a Champion. I'm sorry, not Truce of a Champion. You can't use Consecrate, you can't use Equality, you can't use uh, Hammer of Wrath. You can't use any of the secrets. You have a lot more that you want to use than I have ever had. In order to use my mana correctly, I'll do that and then that. So next turn, I can Silverhand Knight or Antique Healbot and Armor Up. Or I could just Stormwind Champion. It's not entirely unappealing, to be completely honest. Enables my Lawwalker Cho to be a 1-5 and kill that 2-1. Let me think. Hmm. It's good. God, I woke up fucking four hours ago. Why am I tired? Mind if I roll need? That's not good. Behold the might of storm wind. Mm -hmm. Now I actually did want to use the fucking <laughs> So sue me, I actually ended up having to kill my own Lord Cho. Whatever. At least that was a good situation to do it in, and it saved me some, uh, from taking some damage. Let me think. Blessing of Kings, by the way, is the other card that they couldn't cast. <clears throat> I die otherwise. 
my opponent kind of has to start going for my face. Like, drastically. So that I can antique heal bot up and go, Haha, you can't do that. You lose if you go for my face. I wonder. They don't need to know that. Up until that point, at least. There is no reason for me to be tired. I should go get more coffee. After this arena... Come on, you use the 2-3 to break the 7-7 seven, seven Divine Shield, unless you have a way to kill the 7-7. Seven, seven. Oh! Oh, is this the face going for that I was asking for? Well, that's good. Reporting for duty. Attack, attack. I go down to 3, and I anti heal bot back up. Back from the junk heap. Most damage I can take this turn is... Oh, 11. And it requires... Well, from a standard card. And that would be Blessing of Kings on this. Blessing of Kings, you attack this, it enrages this, it also gives it Wind Fury. This has 8 damage, this has 2, this has 1. 11 damage total. I lose the game. It certainly is. Reporting for duty. That was a mistake. Was that it? Was a mistake. Was it? What now? There we go. Trying to remove all of my health, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but low health ain't one. <clears throat> they are bent to my command. I feel really pleased right now. Like I'm smiling and I'm happy and uh, yeah, all those good things. Squire. Casual. Casual 9-9. Oh dear. Is the victory mine? Is it? Is that what just happened? Okay, 5-2. Golden Execute as well, so I can put that into my Control Warrior deck, or I can just not. You might notice in all of my constructed decks a, a, a trend, a theme, so you could say. None of my cards are ever golden. Because golden cards are aesthetic, right? Um, think about it like this. So, a video game uh, like Dota, like Dota 2, you know, you can pay $16 for skins and stuff like that. And, you know, there's no gameplay advantage, but you can buy all of the skins. This game doesn't work like that. You can purchase cards which can give you a gameplay advantage. Well, they straight up do give you a gameplay advantage. I would be complaining much more about that if I hadn't put fucking hours, sorry, thousands of hours into this game. Because by this point, I have most of the cards that I need, right? And if I need different cards, I can just DE to get them. So I still feel, I still feel you, you know, uh, free to play players who have problems with the monetization of this game. I'm just trying to make a point about something else. So this game is monetized, uh, because obviously it's free to play, by buying packs. And the way that you end up kind of, uh, hang on, I'm wrong. The distribution of cards that you get includes cosmetic cards, gold cards in this case. And there's no reason Gameplay-wise, that a cosmetic card is better than any other card. For the crusade! So it's almost like as if I were playing Dota, and I had to pay to buy Dota, right? But then I got all these cosmetics throughout the game, and then by selling those cosmetics back to the community, I could just have more money what myself, now? right? I could have paid less for Dota by just not having the cosmetics. And that's... 
That actually is probably the easiest way to explain it. I have to pay less for this game by not having any of the gold cards, because DEing the gold cards gives me all of the cards that I need. This is interesting. DEing the gold cards allows me to craft all of the actual cards that I need. Um, and reduces the overall kind of uh, dust deficit that I run with uh, with regards specifically to useful cards uh, versus any other player who is paying. That was wrong. Holy shit, that was wrong. Well played. I fucked up. Join I was supposed to use this one and save the full one. Wow. You attack with the 5-1, you kill the slime, but you have the 4-1 left over. Oh, I was focusing so much on d gold cards that I fucking did that shit. If I was going to do this play, I should have generated the 6-6 fucking Frost with Warlord. This is so bad. That single-handedly swings me out of the game, right? I was... It, that's not to say that I'm going to lose the game now. That That's to say that I was going to win the game, and now I might not. What now? So frustrated. Such an advantage in through all the way. The frost Join or die. I could have a 3 1 and a 4 1 on the field right now. And a 5 1. And the, well, the 5 5 would be a 6 6. Don't do what I have done. Luckily, I've got Stormwind Champion next turn. Unfortunately, it looks like my opponent is going to use their axe to clear the 3 1, which means that I have a 6 6 and a 3 1 weapon next turn. Against the strongest blades on 6 mana, I'm probably going to have to actually trade my 6 6 and my weapon. Oh, well, there goes my 6 6, I guess. You know what I should have done? That's what I should have done. I'm so tilted because I made a horrible play earlier that I'm making more horrible plays. Should have played the Razor Pen because then the Razor... Sorry, the Razor Holt... Uh, Razor... Raven Holt. Sorry. Uh, because then it would be buffed up later by the Stormwind. And it's untargetable, of course. It's pretty big. Uh, using two cards to remove that is pretty good for me as well. Now I need to demonstrate some card draw. Put this apple on your head. Pass it up like Free dagger. Now. It's weird. This game I don't need the antique heal bots, but there it is. Ready to serve. Well, if you're going to trade away all of your health, I'm more than pleased with that. I hear you got a problem. Hit it. This means he can't just hit me in the face and get the AoE to kill the 3-3. Three, three. 
So he has to hit the 3-3 again. So using my weapon basically delivered six damage on behalf of my knife juggler. Well, now that's enraged at least. Of course, I'm gonna kill it immediately, but it's enraged. So that's good. I don't need to use my hero power of return. I need to generate a really strong board. Hopefully under four cards so that I don't get mind control tech, but you know. So I've got this as kind of like the huge fucking no swing card. Oh, what? Are you aware of the fact that I'm going to draw cards as well? I mean, it may be that I draw fewer cards than you, but I'm in advantage here. You're only pushing me for- I mean, I, I guess that's the best play that they had? But still. Dropping this T is just, it's dumb. It's a dumb T. I don't know what I mean by calling this a T, by the way. I just wanted to play with the guy's name. Person's name. Armor up, I still have lethal. I've got a total of 11 damage I can deal to your face this turn. Boop, boop, boop. 11. Oh, After no. using that to get past him. Whoop. And well played. Well played. Well played. The light shines. I must attack the, I must attack the minion with taunt. was an error. Running the program. I forgot that the dark scale healer healed the taunt, so I couldn't kill it with my 2-2. It's fine. If I attacked it initially with the three uh with any of the three damage minions, I still wouldn't have lethal. Because then I would have had two, three, well, two, three, five. I would have had ten damage total. Opponent has eleven health. That's a desperate card draw right now, if I've ever seen one. There we go. I was so ready to change to 5-3 just off the back of this is a worse deck than the last deck I played and the last deck I had went 5-something. It went 5-3, obviously. 5-something. Of course it had to be 5-3. I'm not going to end a deck on 5-1 or 5-4. Neither of those possible. I mean, 5-1 is possible. You can concede a deck. You can retire a deck. I've never done that though. I have no interest in ever doing that. I mean, even if you don't want to play the deck anymore, yeah. just continue playing it and then concede every game. Because then you give other people free wins, you give them basically free gold. You're kind of just passing good things out into the world. It doesn't cost you anything, because you're already going to be retiring your deck. The only cost to you is a few seconds of your time. Where's my War Axe? I thought I'd have a War Axe in this video game. Didn't I order one War Axe? At least I have a Scarlet Crusader. Into a Scarlet Crusader. There's a glitch in the Matrix. See, that's really disappointing because the Scarlet Crusader travels, uh, travels, sorry, trades one to one with that. But if my opponent doesn't even attack the Scarlet Crusader, oh, oh my God. Oh, oh no. Blood Knight? 
Okay, cool. If they don't even attack the Scarlet Crusader and just generate it a 1-1, I'd be even fucked. Even more fucked. For the crusade! Come on, Blood Knight. Top deck that Blood Knight. Look at all this divinity. I can't attack two of these in there. I'm forcing my opponent to make the trade because I've got a piloted treader that'll do it if they don't. <clears throat> oh, look, both of my antique heal bots. So I don't even manage. I don't even care about taking damage. You are real set on never attacking my minions. Alright, fine. Draw one card. Tragedy. Join or die. Consecrate. Red alert. Fucking shielded mini bot. Top deck, uh, come on. Here we go. I need it. Big game hunter, here we go. Didn't work out that way. Opponent has a total of 14 on board. I have a total of 16 health. Two damage will win the game. I could have played the antique heal bot that turn, but it doesn't rival any of the minions I on the board. Uh, even the antique heal bot wouldn't have saved me from that. Shielded mini bot is the strongest early drop. I've said it so many times, so don't think I'm saying it now just because it shreked me. All right. <clears throat> sure, I should have... Retrospect, I should have attacked earlier, but... If I got a Death's Bite at any point, it would have been way better. If I got the Arcanite Reaper, it would have been way better, and I actually would have been able to equalize, but... Yeah. Things didn't turn out that way. That's a very mech-based pack right there. Ooh, baby. Look at all that gold that I'm... Gold dust. Cobalt Guardian is immediately getting deed. Oh, yeah. All of them actually translated directly into dust. So that's a 40 dust pack. Yay. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Hulsa Arena. The name of the deck has been... Scarlet Crusade. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have, please click like. It doesn't even get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on Hearthstone Arena, Hearthstone Ranked, and Hearthstone Adventures, including Black Rock Mountain, a Hearthstone Adventure. I didn't sing it last time, so I decided to sing it this time. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself, and we'll see you next time.